Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about uh, working with colors in WPF. I made a simple cheat sheet over here. So the things we're going to look over are background color, foreground color, and border brush color. And then we'll uh, take a look at linear gradient brush and radial gradient brush. So let's get started. I have already Visual Studio 2019 open. Create three simple buttons. The code's over here. Nothing special going on. The only probably thing I guess you can say uh, font size. I changed the font size. I gave it the height and width and the border thickness of five. Okay. So that's all good. Let's start with colors. Um, first button I'm gonna make the background oopsie I'm gonna give it a background of red it's a solid color brush and um, let's change the uh, text color to white and border brush to blue. Okay. The second button I like to do linear brush. Um, let's select the button. I'm going to use the properties pane for this. So I find it to be easier to do over here. So See, we have a bunch of options here, and we need this gradient brush option. Once we select that, it's going to change it to a linear brush from top to bottom, or you can say bottom up. Uh, we can flip the uh, color direction here. If you want, we can do white to black or black to white, or even diff totally different colors. So you can do red to black or red to white. Okay, and the third button is automatically actually. I'm gonna just take a look at the code here to create the code over here for us. So um, that's all good. Third button, we're going to do a radial brush. So same way, we can uh, select the gradient brush, and down below here, the second button here, says radial gradient. We're going to select that, and this gives a radial effect of the colors. Um, again, we can play with the colors. We can change it to a different color, say uh, oh, an orangish, orange to black, or green to black. It's, that's definitely totally up to us. Okay. Yeah, it's got a little magenta. Okay, let's do the end color with white. Okay, so we have a solid color brush, we have a linear gradient, and a radial gradient. This is all good and well, but let's say we want to use one color for all the buttons. How do we do that? The way we do that is we create a window resource. So, you know, solid color brush. When we create a resource or a style or anything like that, we definitely need to give it a key. 
um, what you enter here doesn't, it's just something that you're gonna remember. So something that makes sense to you. I'm gonna say my uh, or solid orange, solid orange brush. I'm gonna give it the color of, as you guessed, orange. Okay. And then I'm going to create another one, solid color brush. That's key. White, oops, white my solid white brush. Let me get a color of white. Okay, now it's very simple to do the solid colors. Um, actually, it's not hard to do the other ones too. To do the linear gradient brush, we can simply copy this. Uh, that's the radial one. Let's start with the linear brush. So cup cut and paste it up top and all we need to do is give it a key linear brush it is a my linear brush and same way Remove this, we don't need this anymore. Same way, we can copy and paste or cut and paste radial brush. And uh, get a key. Unnecessary tags over here. We don't need any more. Now let's change our values. So the uh, background. I'm gonna set this to orange my orange brush um, foreground also actually I'm just gonna do white my white brush and I did white for border too I mean you get the idea you can play with it and uh, do whatever you you like to my solid white brush. And you get the type of one. Oh wow. Mm, let's correct it. Brush. And as soon as we change that, change over here too. We've got an error. because the typo all right so um, we can use the same colors for these other buttons you can do solid color um, or you can do my linear brush But um, you got the idea, that's how you do it. So border brush as well, dynamic resource, white brush, 
And last but not least, let's do this one too, background, dynamic resource. Radial brush and let's do the border brush as well. Okay, so that's how we do it. All right, thanks for tuning in. Hope you learned something new. Uh, please remember to comment or like or subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a nice day.